All eyes will soon be on Robert Mueller testifying tomorrow before the American people. He did not find collusion, but on obstruction, he said he would have cleared the president if he could have. And today, on the eve of his testimony, Mueller had a last minute request. It made immediate news. And here's our chief White House correspondent, Jonathan Carl, tonight. Just before his long awaited testimony, former special counsel Robert Mueller had a late request. He asked for his longtime aide, Aaron Zebley, to be sworn in alongside him. Republicans objected. Congressman Jim Jordan tweeting, you don't get to change the rules right before kickoff. In the end, a compromise. Zebley will be able to sit next to Mueller and confer with him, but will not testify. Mueller himself didn't want this day to come. Any testimony from this office would not go beyond our report. But the special counsel's in-person testimony is what Democrats have been waiting for. They assume most Americans have not read his report. For many Americans, just learning what's in the report will be a revelation. Today, even the FBI director acknowledged he hasn't read the whole thing. Uh, I've, I've reviewed it. I wouldn't say I've read every single word. As a longtime public servant and FBI director for more than a decade, Mueller has testified before Congress 88 times. When he takes the oath tomorrow, President Trump will be watching. Today, he clearly had Mueller on his mind. $40 million, interview 500 people, they got nothing. But Mueller did outline 11 instances where the president may have obstructed justice. If we had had confidence that the president clearly did not commit a crime, we would have said so. Democrats hope Mueller will reveal whether he would have charged the president with a crime if it weren't for the Justice Department rule against prosecuting a sitting president. Attorney General Bill Barr ultimately took it upon himself to clear the president. Democrats will likely ask Mueller if he wanted Barr to do that or whether he intended for Congress to make that call. So let's go across town now to Jonathan Carl at the White House. And John, obviously what folks at home want to know tonight, are they really going to learn anything new tomorrow from Robert Mueller? What's this going to look like? Mueller is going to be testifying, David, before two different committees. Democrats see this as a big and important moment, and it will be fascinating to see him answer questions for the first time uh, from Congress about his report. Democrats were practicing for the hearing uh, earlier today, but David, Mueller has made it very clear that he does not intend to say anything beyond what he wrote in that report. All right, we'll see first thing in the morning. John Carl, our thanks to you, and ABC News will carry the Robert Mueller hearings live beginning at 8.15 tomorrow morning. I'll be joining George and John and the entire team. Of course, we'll see you first thing in the morning. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.